there are there was 120 liters of pure milk in a vessel some quantity of milk was taken out and replaced with 23 liters of water in such a way that the resultant ratio between the quantities of milk and water in the mixture was 4 is to 1 respectively again 23 liters of the mixture was taken out and replaced with 27 liters of water what is the respective ratio of milk and water in the resultant mixture right what is the respective ratio of milk and water in the resultant mixture okay see what happens 120 liters of pure milk is there right we have removed some quantity of milk how much quantity is not given to us but some quantity was taken out and replaced with 23 liters of water it was replaced with 23 liters of water in such a way that the resultant ratio between the quantities of milk and water in the mixture was 4 is to 1 respectively Again, 23 liters of mixture was taken out and replaced with 27 liters of water. What is the respective ratio of milk and water in the resultant mixture? So understand there are two mixtures here, mixture 1 and mixture 2. Mixture that we get in step 1 and the mixture that we get in step 2. Now in the mixture 1, what happens? He has given us that the ratio of milk to water is 4 is to 1. Forget about the total quantity, 120 liters and all, let's forget. Only look at mixture 1, the first mixture that is formed. So in the first mixture, the ratio of milk to water is 4 is to 1. The ratio of milk to water is 4 is to 1. We also know that in the first mixture, the only amount of water that we have is 23 liters. Yes or no? 23 liters of water was added to a pure milk. Some milk was removed and then 23 liters of water was added. And then the resultant ratio between milk and water came out to be 4 is to 1. So can I say this one part corresponds to 23? So how much will be 4 parts? You are getting it? We know that the quantity of water that was added is 23 liters. Right? The quantity that of water that was added is 23 liters. And amount of water is 23, uh, one part. So, four parts is equal to what? Y you are getting me? I hope all of you have followed. I mean, I can write the detailed steps, but I want to cut it down. You, you should not be writing anything in the exam theory. Directly, you must know that milk is nothing but 4 into 23. Water is 1 into 23. You are able to follow. So, we can now say that water quantity is equal to 23, which implies milk should be 4 into 23. I mean, if you go by that ratio, which is 92. So, therefore, milk is to water is equal to 92 is to 23. I mean, this is all mental calculation that you have to do. And you can, you can, you can compare. This ratio here is similar to this ratio. Right? He says it should be 4 is to 1. What we have got is also 4 is to 1. If there is 92 liters of milk, then there is 23 liters of water. And that 92 and 23 makes it 4 is to 1. In fact, here it is not 92 liters of milk. Here it is 23 liters of water. We are 100% sure that 23 liters is water. So, into 4 times, 92 liters will be milk. 23 into 4 is 92. Right? Is that clear to all of you? Now, let us go look at the next part. Mixture 2. What is happening? Now, in this mixture of 92 liters of milk and 23 liters of water, again 23 liters of the mixture was taken out. 23 liters of mixture was taken out. And replaced with 27 liters of water. Let us assume that in mixture 2, we have got milk and water. M dash is to W dash. Let us say M dash and W dash. Right? M dash and W dash. Now, the point to be noted is, let, let us find out milk and water individually. So, how much will be M dash? M dash will be equal to what? See, initial milk. Initial milk is 92. Initial milk for mixture 2 will be mixture 1. So, M dash will be 92 liters of milk minus, understand, what was removed? 23 liters of mixture was removed. And out of this 23, how much will be water? See, again, the 23 liters which was removed, 23 liters of mixture that was removed will have, will have milk and water in what ratio? It will have milk and water in the same ratio, 4 is to 1 ratio. We are removing from this mixture, right? From this mixture, which was 4 is to 1. So, whatever is removed will also be in the ratio of 4 is to 1. So, how much of milk will come out? 4 out of 5 parts, 4 by 5 into 23. So, this is the final quantity of milk, M dash. Right? Similarly, when you try to find out for water, when you try to find out for water, try to find out for water, what is the quantity of water? Initial water, I mean, the water in mixture 1 is how much? 23 liters. From this 23, how much of water is removed? 1 out of 5 parts. You are getting it? The ratio is 4 is 1. So, the amount of water that comes out is 1 part out of total 5 parts multiplied by 23. And 27 liters of water was added. This is very, very important. We are removing the mixture. So, both milk and water will come out. But it was replaced with 27 liters of water. So, you will remove some quantity of water but add 27 liters back to it. So, this is the final quantity of milk. Calculation is your lookout. This is the final quantity of water. Calculation is your lookout. And now, take the ratio what is the respective ratio of milk and water in the resultant mixture. So, M dash is to W dash is equal to what? Solve for M, solve for W, take M is to w, M dash is to W. So, solve for M dash, solve for W dash, 
and take m dash is to w dash. Do this calculation quickly and now tell me if the answer is actually option 3 or not. Because most of you had marked the answer as option 3. But check your calculation. Answer will not be option 3. Right? Answer will be option 5. None of this.